Hello, it's Reverend Judy here with a message, midweek message for the 10th of February. What would your reply be to this question? What is the core of the Christian faith? What is the core of the Christian faith? I can think of lots of possible answers. Love, love of God and of other people. That Jesus, through his death and resurrection, brings us forgiveness and that restored relationship with God, with others and the rest of the world. Or that Jesus gives us an example to follow and empowers us, enables us to do so through the gift of his Holy Spirit. Maybe one of your answers was along similar lines to one of mine. But actually, although I agree with all of those, there's something else right at the core. Something else right at the core. And last Sunday's epistle makes that clear. It was from Colossians chapter 1 and verses 15 to 20. In it we read, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God. All the fullness of God dwells in him. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God. All the fullness of God dwells in him. Jesus, fully human and fully God. Without this, the Christian faith falls. Without this, Christmas, well, it could still be about the birth of a baby who went on to do very special things, but it's no longer about God being with us. Easter, well, it's about the example of one man giving his life for his beliefs, as have many others. But it's no longer about God suffering with us, about God taking on the burden of our sins. It's no longer about death in the very heart of God. And the resurrection is no longer about renewing that relationship broken within the core being of God and opening that relationship to us. That's why Christ Jesus being the image of the invisible God and that all the fullness of God dwells in him. That's why it's so important. And also later on in that Colossians passage, we read in him, all things hold together. All things hold together. Our relationships with God, with each other, with the rest of the world, they hold together in Christ Jesus. He is the one who can enable us to live in those right relationships. So here's a meditation in two parts. Christ Jesus, the image of the invisible God, with all the fullness of God, dwelling in him, fully human and fully God. And so you, Lord Jesus, God, you know what it is like to be vulnerable and persecuted, to be tired and stressed, to be betrayed, rejected, isolated. And you know what it is like to laugh and to celebrate, to relax and to be refreshed. But you do not leave it there. You invite us to share in your life. And through your death and resurrection, you transform our suffering into well-being. You change isolation 
into relationship. You show that injustice can never have the last word. And you magnify our joy. In you, Christ Jesus, all things hold together. So when in this pandemic so many things are falling apart, when we have no ability or power to keep things together, thank you that nothing is beyond your loving power to heal and to restore. May we be the links through which you work. May we be the vessels and conduits for the life which you alone can give. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us, be with all those for whom we have love and concern, now and always. Amen. Thank you for watching.